Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. And I'm going to go ahead and call it out uh, up front that this is, this is going to be one of my casual LPs. He's going to be pretty laid back and just kind of having fun here. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, this game really needs no introduction. Um, there's a couple reasons why I'm doing it right now. Um, one is that we haven't posted Skies of Arcadia in quite a while, and once again, we'll not be having videos for it this week. I will have posted an update about it by now, so you know that shouldn't really be news to too many people. And of course, if you're watching this, like, in the future, then that won't make any sense at all, but oh well, what, do you, what can you do, I guess? And the second reason is because on June 6th of 2012, it will be my three-year anniversary of LPing. So, I figured that might be something worth celebrating. And I guess we could play some Donkey Kong Country, I mean, arguably one of the best games of all time, really. I mean, you could make that argument if you wanted, it's so much fun. And, um, you know, I've got, I actually bought an SNES console a few weeks ago and got Donkey Kong Country for it, and that's what I'm recording this off of, so... I'm kind of trying out a whole bunch of new things here, it should be pretty fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get this out of the way. This will be a 101% run, uh, which basically means finding all the bonus areas. In a nutshell, that's what it boils down to, so let's get going. Um, I shouldn't really have to explain too much. I mean, this game is pretty well known. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people, or at least some people out there, who haven't played it or seen it. Uh, you can roll, you can jump, you can pound the ground, which you'll probably never see me do. Um, if you want a story, this is basically all you're going to get. We have no bananas and must find them. That about sums it up. <laughs> so, yeah, this one's uh, it's pretty fun, though. You can get a lot of lives here in the first level, if you know what you're doing. Get the one in the house, of course. There's always one in the house you start off in. And pretty soon here, we're going to pick up our buddy Diddy Kong, which we're going to immediately switch to, because he's a lot faster and controls a lot better than Donkey Kong. I'm going to be using him quite a lot throughout this game. Uh, so you get a life there, you can get a life there, you can get two lives there. So there you go, off to a good start already. Oh wow, I almost never make that. We I mean, can kind of stay on the treetops here if you want, and we can pick up uh, Rambi. He's a rhino, he runs over things. Pretty self-explanatory again. And there's our first bonus area. There's a ton of these spread out. And um, again, 101% means finding all of those. Now we're up to 11 lives. Once we grab the G, we'll be up to 12 lives. <laughs> Don't know where it's grabbing them left and right. And uh, here, if we want, we can kind of match the symbols to get one of these little golden token things that correspond to a helper. I'm not... Okay, well, I was going to say, it's like, I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm really not going to show all those games because they just kind of take up time and all you get from them is lives. I'm basically just going to do 101%. I mean, like I said, this is just a casual run, so, you know, you'll get 101%, but that's probably about it. Now, there's actually a little secret here that I bet a lot of people don't even know about. Um, if you jump up here, then jump, jump off of Rambi and jump again. You can get, kind of get shot through a cannon there, and you actually grab six lives. So, um, that one was actually pretty new to me. I found out about that not too long ago. Alright, and an easy way to tell if you get 100% on a level is... <clears throat> sorry. Is to just look at the uh, exclamation mark there by the end of the name. If you have that, that means you got 100%. So, cool. Alright, Nairobi Rampage. Again, like, the second level, like, the first time you play it, I mean, you're, like, already blown away. You know, I mean, this rain, this lightning, and all this atmosphere here, it's like, it's the same type of level, it's still just in a jungle with trees and everything, you know, but it's such a different atmosphere, and it's so cool. Alright, so, uh, again, there's a rhino token up there if we want it. I don't. Now, there's going to be a cleverly hidden bonus game in here. This is probably one that you wouldn't find your first time through. you got to jump down in the gap there and uh, go through the wall. And if we want, we can grab a whole bunch of bananas here. You know, it takes up a little time. Uh, you don't have to actually complete the bonus game in order to get credit for it. You can actually just walk in and immediately fall into the pit if you wanted. But I, I may do that at some point just to speed things up. Skip a good portion of the level there. Yeah, this game's also good for that. You get things that, like, shoot you really far along. Alright, um, let's see. I'm not entirely sure. I think you have to use this. Yeah. Oh, it's just a frog token. Okay, well, I don't want that anyway. <laughs> Alright, so keep jumping across. We're getting pretty close to the end here, and there's also another bonus area down there. Um, if you jump down, you can actually sort of see the top half of the barrel. Of course, these games are always fun. Try to figure out which one the balloon ends up in. Watch close. Looks like it's over here. 
And what do you know, 20 lives and we're two levels in. I think we're doing all right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't keep up this pace. I'm fairly certain that we won't come anywhere close to hitting 99 lives. Um, I know I did that pretty early on, actually, in Donkey Kong Country Returns, but this game is actually, I believe, quite a bit harder. So, <laughs> there's the G up there if we want it. And yeah, I probably will be dying some. I know I didn't, again, referencing Donkey Kong Country Returns, I didn't die once in that game. Uh, but I was actually splitting that one up by levels. If you watch the original playlist, they were... Well, the original playlist isn't there anymore. Um, but they were actually split up by, like, one level each video. So, you know, that's why I was able to get it so well. Uh, it's a hidden bonus area there. But this one, I probably will end up dying at least by the fourth world, I think. The ice world. I'd say I'd probably die at least once by then. Who knows? It may be earlier than that, but... Another bonus area up here. This one's really not hidden at all. You can see that from a mile away. Fun little barrel shooting sequence, though. This game is also really good at those. <laughs> I love it. Alright, now I don't remember... Uh, if you see a barrel, it's generally a good idea to take it, because you never know if you're going to need it to get a bonus area. I don't think we need this one, though. No, we definitely don't. Alright, and the checkpoint. Nice. All right, now this one I believe we do need, though. Yeah, we want to uh, throw it into the right side there. I like bouncing off of enemies in order to get the barrel to go. It feels just a lot more safe to me than stopping and actually throwing it, so, I don't know, personal preference, I guess. All right, and I think that might be it for bonus levels here. Uh, I never know. I mean, I don't have, like, a guide up or anything. I'm just doing all of this basically by memory. Uh, we shouldn't have any trouble, though. I don't normally miss bonus areas, and if I do, it's pretty obvious because you don't get the little exclamation mark, so... You know, this one's pretty easy to tell when you've got everything. All right, and we move on to the second half of World 1 already. We're into Coral Caper. It's the first water level. Um, I mentioned... <laughs> I'm probably going to talk about Donkey Kong Country Returns a lot because it's one I did somewhat recently. Actually, I guess that was a while ago now, wasn't it? But uh, again, one thing that was very noticeably missing from there, and I gave the water levels in this game a little bit of praise in there. Um, it is pretty tight. I mean, overall, it controls pretty well. There are certain areas, especially later on, where like fish just come at you really fast and you don't have any time to react. Um, I mean, this game is pretty difficult. It does like to pull its cheap shots every now and then, but uh, it's just something you kind of learn to get used to and you start to figure out where things are coming from. And of course, On Guard always helps things out. I love getting this guy. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he is actually in every water level in the game. He's hidden in most of them, but you can get him, I believe, in every single one. Yeah, well, we can go up here and grab the O. I'm not really gonna, again, I'm not really gonna make it a point to grab all the KONG, because in this game, all they do is give you lives. Um, you know, 101%. It's just the bonus areas, that's all I'm really caring about. If we want, we could go to the right there and kind of go to a hidden area and get an ostrich token. There's a G. Oh, that's the N. Okay. There's one ahead of myself. Yeah, there's some places like this where the fish kind of swim at you really fast. It can be really easy to get hit if you're not on on guard. So it's always good to pick them up when you can see them, of course. Whoa. Here's the G. So a pretty simple water level. That one really doesn't throw too much at you. I love the music in the water stages, though. And pretty much throughout this entire game. I mean, I'm sure I'll be mentioning it more than once. And here's Funky's Flights. Um, I actually skipped over uh, Cranky. I'm sure anyone who's played this game has seen him before. I just skip over him by instinct. Like, I don't even think about it. We can go back and talk to him if we want, though. And basically, it yeah, beats talking to myself, pretty much. He just kind of gives you little hints here and there. and Stuff that you normally don't really need. Much better off. And the what are you talking about? <laughs> 64-bit. Oh no, I've played 64-bit. <laughs> and he was in 64-bit too, actually. More game in my little finger than you've got in this whole game. Well, wow, putting down your own game. Alright, are you gonna give me a hint or not? Stop talking about the <laughs> all graphics and no gameplay. That's kind of funny in this day and age. That'd be more than 30 games in my day, and they'd be great games too. I'm, I'm gonna say, I don't know that I'd ever actually just listen to one of his rants. I might sit here for just a minute. Oh, there you go. Okay, now he's gonna give us hints to the treetops or an extra lives. He'll just sit there and give you stuff like that. See, I mean, so just basic kind of gameplay hints if you don't uh, really know too much, but... Oh, no, don't go back there. 
I don't think I've ever actually just sat there and read his rant about uh, like 32 meg and all that. That's, <laughs> that's kind of interesting, actually. And of course, Funky's flights, he doesn't really have too much use um, like right now. What he will let you do is kind of go in between worlds. But I'm not going to bother with that, of course, right now. He's not really useful unless you're in, like, a world that is, like, you haven't gotten to a save point yet and you want to go back and save. That's about all he's useful for. Alright, Sears Barrel Cannon Canyon, of course. Pretty much everybody knows this shortcut. Just kind of stay up top and you'll get shot over most of the level. Uh, there's also another one if you roll and jump, stay up there. That Rhino token's pretty much unavoidable, so I guess we'll have to get that. You get another one that lets you skip that kind of annoying barrel section. Uh, the downside to that is that it does actually make you skip a bonus game, so if you jump over and uh, go back down there, you'll go right to it, run in the wall there. And this way you can basically just mash the button and get all the way through it. Now, I'm wanting to say that there is actually another shortcut um, in this level. There's, there's like a trail of bananas later on that kind of leads me to believe it, but I've never actually found it before, and I don't really know anything about it, so... Um, I seem to recall there being one, like, maybe I even found it as a kid, I'm not sure. But, um, I don't know, I could just be remembering things wrong, I guess. <laughs> I kind of went a little higher than expected there. Alright, so this barrel section we're going to have to do. It's not too bad, though. You fly pretty quickly, so, you know, it's not too hard to time your shots. Went pretty smoothly, I'd say. Let's go up here if we want. Yeah, because there's bananas up there. You can see like that. It looks like you would be shot through. So I'm fairly certain there is another skip there. I just don't know it off the top of my head. All right, so that's uh, the last regular level. The last one is, of course, a boss. And we have the save point here. This is Candy Kong. And she blows little kisses at you. <laughs> there you go. So you just jump in the barrel and you get your game automatically saved and 14%. It's a good place to be. And now we take on the boss of World 1. Very naughty's lair. Pretty simple. Um, you just jump on him a lot. I mean, <laughs> the bosses in this game are actually really easy. They're quite a lot easier than the normal levels, in fact. So there you go. You jump on him like five times and he goes down. You can do a little victory dance there. I love throwing the hat. And we get to move on to the second world, Monkey Mines. Alright, so this is Winky's walkway. If you didn't know, Winky is actually the name of the frog helper, so that's going to give you a little hint of who we might be finding here. And to do so, we just jump right up here, and there we go. Now, it's a little kind of awkward controlling with Winky because he hops everywhere. You can, like, jump mid-hop. I mean, you don't have to wait until he's, like, on the ground to jump, which is really nice, because uh, this would be a, a real pain to control otherwise. And once I get here, I always have to do this. I don't know, I've just done that every single time I've passed through there since I was a kid. Like, I, never once have I, like, not done that, so it would feel weird to just skip it now, you know? So yeah, it looks a little awkward, and it does kind of feel a little bit awkward, but you learn to get used to it. It's really not too bad. And it's nice because he can jump on pretty much anything. There's the G. And... Again, just habit's sake. I can't explain that, but... <laughs> and of course, that one really only had the one bonus level that we went to, the little barrel up top, so that one's pretty easy. And of course, Minecart Carnage. This is probably one of the most um, well-known skips in the game. If you jump over this... I mean, like, pretty much everybody knows that. Like, if, if you know one thing about Donkey Kong Country, you know that skip. And of course, one guy you gotta jump over at the end, and you're done with the level. Of course, that wouldn't be very fun, you know, just skip it. I mean, there's no bonus areas or anything, so we could move on, but, well, you know, we gotta see it. Nobody really ever does this level, so we might as well do it. Now, this may be one that I die on. This one, <laughs> it can be a little bit tough, and I haven't actually done this in so long that I really don't even remember most of it. So, you know, I'm actually doing most of this just kind of by sight. <laughs> But we should be okay. I mean, I remember it is a little bit tough, especially for her being so early on. But uh, hopefully uh, my reaction time isn't too bad. <laughs> Man is there. Just gotta be really careful on those jumps. Uh, unavoidable dolphin, or dolphin swordfish token there. I always call him a dolphin for some reason. I don't know why. It's just <laughs> kind of always what I've done. 
Alright, and of course the turned over carts will hurt you if you run into them, so don't. This one here. Oh, you can do a low yeah, I remember that. You can do a low jump to get a life there. Alright, well we're doing okay so far. I don't want to jinx myself or anything, because it could be very easy to screw up. Oh man, that's a tough one. Whoa. <laughs> Who built this, man? This is crazy. It's <laughs> going up and down all over the place. Whoa. Okay, now the not two in a row, that's not fair. Oh man, I don't believe I made it through that. Wow, look at that, I made it through the first time without taking a hit. Whew, I don't think I could do that again, but... <laughs> Alright, well, I'm doing pretty good then. Alright, Bouncy Bonanza. Time for a little more traditional gameplay. Oh, <laughs> didn't know if I jumped on that guy or not, I couldn't really tell. Alright, so I think, yeah, we need this barrel, because we have to go underneath the bees and to the right there. Match these up to get a life if we want. There we go. <laughs> How many lives do I have? I don't know, can't tell. <laughs> yeah, that's just kind of one of the charms of this game. Like, that's one of the things you remember, like, the foreground things actually cover up the, the menu display. Like, in any other game, you know, they would probably get ridiculed for that, like, that's poor game design. But in this game, it's just kind of like one of the charms of it, you know? I don't know, it's weird how that works. I guess we kind of go through the wall there and go to this hidden upper path. And there's nothing really too special up here, uh, just kind of the inn if you want it. You can also drop down and we're going to be able to grab Winky here. And um, he's very useful for getting the next bonus area, so we probably want to hang on to him if we can. It can be easy to lose him, though. Just with all these things moving around. And he's nice for... Okay, there we go. There's the first death. <laughs> I was going to say he's nice for jumping on those bees, and then I totally missed it. Alright, well, even if you don't have the tire, you can still get Winky. It's not that big of a deal. I guess we could show the lower path here, too, so it's not a total loss. And, of course, you can just use the tire there to jump up to that room, so... You don't have to skip him or anything. Man, and after we did so well in Minecart Carnage, too, uh, <laughs> it kind of sucks to just miss a jump and die, you know? Oh, well. There we go. That's what I was trying to do before. I just went a little too far. Uh, <laughs> okay, never mind me on this one. Yeah, I mean, if there's one thing about this game, you gotta take your time. You can't rush it. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll start doing stuff like I mean, I'm just trying to, like, speed through all this, you know? So, it's kind of making me... Actually, is I don't think I passed it. I'm pretty sure I would have seen it. Yeah, it's right here, because it's after this. You can actually also use the tire if you want. Um, it's just a lot harder to do. It's easier to just jump up there with Winky, as you can see. So there you go, it's the second bonus area, and also should be the last one, I believe. Grab the bananas and drop down. Alright, and there's the exit. Okay, so that one was a little bit bumpy, but we made it out and wasn't too bad. Stop and go station. Again, there's kind of another famous uh, sort of skip here. If you go right back to the left into the entrance, you'll actually end up like pretty far along in the level. So you can do that if you want, but we're not going to. Uh, we kind of have to go this way to get a bonus area anyway, so. So obviously you want to hit the stop signs whenever you can. Uh, these things move very fast and are very hard to avoid, so I would recommend hitting the uh, little stop signs whenever you get the chance. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that's close, almost got hit by that guy. Alright, now this one right here I believe we need. Wait for that guy to pass, drop down, there we go. And of course we can grab all these if we want. Let's just go diagonally. Alright, that'll do. <laughs> I'm not going to take the time to grab all the bananas. All right, then there's another one pretty much right here. This one's actually pretty well hidden, but it's kind of hinted at by that little trail of bananas I collected. Um, if you bring this over here and then jump straight up... There we go. You'll grab into a blast barrel. Another one of these. Um, I think the right one has a token. Yeah, okay, so I'll just grab one of the banana bunches. All right, I believe that's it for all the uh, bonus areas in this one, so that's good. <laughs> that was kind of dangerous. I'm, I'm being awfully careless for having died twice in that last level, so... <laughs> Not sure why I'm risking so much here. 
Right, get out of the way, dude. Oh man, that was really close. I didn't think I had that. It's it's really kind of scary when they like get up and start to move when it's on stop. Like you think you're gonna get hit by them. <laughs> Phew! All right, made it. All right, so I guess we might as well go up and save since it's available. There we go. Twenty-three percent. Nice. All right, Millstone Mayhem. Uh, this is a pretty memorable level. Got a bonus area straight away if you go to the left. <laughs> it's pretty easy to find. Oh, the K is, yeah, the K is over on the right. Oh, well. All right, and it, it's a good idea if you're trying to go for like 101%. You're not really sure of everything. Anytime you see a barrel, just try to carry it as far as you can because you may need it. All right, uh, okay, I didn't need it there. Oh. <laughs> Grab that, even though it doesn't really matter. Oh, I didn't want that to go down there. Phew, we made it, though. Nope. <laughs> oh, come on, I hit R. It was just a different R. Well, I think that one actually gives you one of the gold tokens anyway, so it's probably a good thing I failed it. See, like I said, just carry barrels as far as you can, because you will actually need that one right there. That one's pretty inconspicuous, but... Let's see, I'm usually pretty good at this. I don't want to, like, jinx myself or anything, though. Cool. So, you now we're like I said, we're not gonna, you know, be hitting 99 lives, I don't think. But, um, at least, <laughs> I've never done it before, we'll put it that way. I think I have gotten in the 80s before, though. Jump on these guys just for fun. And I honestly don't think there are any more bonus areas here, but I could be mistaken. Although we can use this. There we go, to get up here. Grab Winky again. <laughs> He's in a lot of these worlds for some reason. Get the N even though we don't need it. Okay, we'll just skip it then. I'm not gonna bother. And he's nice because he can jump over those wheels, so that makes things quite a bit easier. for the snakes. He will get hit by those, though. Yeah, <laughs> and that guy's really annoying, so it's good to have Winky for that as well. Yeah, that's a tough one, though. I can never seem to get through there without getting hit. Like, if you jump too low, you'll just fall down and die, so it's better to get hit, <laughs> you know, and just continue on. There's the Cranky's Cabin. I'm not going to sit through another one of those. Oh, man, that took forever. Here we are at the boss of World 2, so basically this one's also pretty easy. Just wait for him to spit the nut out and then jump on him. It's pretty easy to avoid and pretty easy to hit, so shouldn't have any trouble here. And there we go, takes care of it. <laughs> cool, Donkey Kong's like running on a treadmill there. I love when he does that sometimes. 